Welcome back, everybody. My name is Halo Martin. This is the best name EDC. And today I would like to show you how you can customize your Swiss Army knives yourself. So in the past, I've talked about Brassworks. These are really no longer easy to come by. There are a couple of other companies that are do like completes like this. Um, you can get them from Flytanium. I think they have a Titanium Cadet and different versions. But if you've already got the knife, there's another way you can go about it, and that is buying a set of daily customs scales. Um, these red scales are timeless classics, but it's just not something I particularly enjoy. I opt for something different, like these white scales on the Huntsman. I have a wooden scaled Huntsman um, that's walnut, and it looks really nice, but this titanium is next level. It's taking it a step up, making it yours, and making it something that's gonna last for a very, very long time. So I'm just gonna show you what to do when you get your set of daily custom scales when you purchase them. And with that said, let's do the damn thing. So I have to decide realistically which one of these three Swiss Army knives I want to put these scales on. Uh, somebody was telling me in the comments the other day that the compact is an 89 millimeter, but I, or 84 millimeter, but that's that's not true. This is the exact same size as the uh, Tinker, which is 91 millimeters. So unless these are the wrong size scales, uh, these are the exact same size. So this is a Tinker for sure and this is exactly the same. I'm really torn. I think the Huntsman's just too thick. Uh, I like this one, but this is one that I take backpacking or out into the woods. I'm not gonna carry this every day. It's just a little much. It's got a saw on it right here, and that's just not something I'm gonna use every day. So uh, with that said, uh, comes down to Tinker or Compact. I really like the scissors, and then I also really like that the Tinker has the screwdriver. <laughs> Can I just... <laughs> customize and put these together that would be the perfect tool right scissors and a screwdriver i think scissors are more important to me than a screwdriver so tinker is out compact it is it does suck because i've got these plus scales with the pin inside now there are some daily custom scales with all of your tool inserts these are not because i've got this inlay and they're they're milled so there are no pockets inside these on the underside for any of the uh, scale tools. So the first step is to remove all of these scale tools. It does suck to lose the uh, these three tools, but I think I think it's okay. I'm also gonna take this lanyard off so it gets out of my way. But before we actually get started, uh, you will need a few things. If you've got the clip screws, you'll need a T6, I believe. Yes, a T6 Torx and a Benchmade clip or the Daily Customs clip. You'll also need something to pry with, which I'm gonna use the flathead from my power pint, something to scrape with, which I'm gonna use just the, the back end of a uh, utility knife. You're gonna need some epoxy of some sort. I chose quick set because I don't wanna sit around and wait all the, like a day for these to set. Uh, something to mix that epoxy with, and then a set of clamps so you can clamp it until it sets. So, with that said, we need to remove these scales. The easiest thing you can do is find a little itty bitty flathead like this right here and just work it up under those scales. Um, they should come off relatively easily and you can work them off to where that you could reuse them in the future. Probably not on this one because if you're epoxying these scales on, you're gonna have a really hard time getting them back off. But you can salvage these so that I could put these on that tinker and put that pin loop or pin slot on the tinker if I really wanted to. Um, these are mostly just press fit on over some studs. Okay, there we go. One scale off. There's not gonna be much to clean up either. And the thing is, <laughs> you don't wanna damage these scales. If, if for, exact, for example, I am wrong, uh, I can at least put these back on and start afresh. I almost forgot the pin that comes in the scales of the compact. So the next step, is really to just clean this off. The instructions say to use some sort of degreaser. I have these alcohol prep pads, which I'm gonna use. Um, these are pretty clean as is, so I don't really think there's much to be worried about. In fact, uh, this is 
not absolutely necessary, but it is something you can do. You can rough the surface up just a little bit. And if you do that, it's gonna make it adhere a little better. Just gives it a little more, it's like sanding before you paint, right? Just gives a little more surface area or something to grab. So to that guy that told me that the Tinker is an, or a compact is a 84 millimeter, you're wrong, the executive is, but the compact is not. Honestly, I feel like these scales would stay on as this without even epoxying them. Um, but with time, they may pop back off. So we are going to make sure that we cement them on there, basically. Next, we're gonna mix this epoxy inside the lid of this box. And you don't need a whole, whole lot. This should be more than enough. We're gonna squeeze out just a little bit more. There's no way to not make a mess when you're epoxying things. Put the lid on that, and now we need to mix this up very, very well. Basically, since this one does not have tools, it doesn't really matter. We can just kind of spread it indiscriminately through here. I'm not going to epoxy behind the screws for the clip. because I do not want those screws to become permanent. I would like to be able to take them out. So I did get a little bit there and I'm going to clean that up before we press these on. So now we need to do this without making a massive mess, which I kind of already have done. And this way. Uh, if, if some of the epoxy squeezes out when you press this on there, don't worry about it. We can get it later. Probably have just enough time to also fix that if I need it. All right, now I'm going to remove these screws just a little bit so that they don't become epoxied in place. Because that would not be ideal. So now we press this on, clip it, and we wait. Like so. So it's been, I don't know, 10 minutes since I first started mixing, or actually since I applied pressure to these, uh, clamped them. So uh, I think it's it's good enough for now. I'm just gonna wipe these down because there is a little bit of residue. So like I said, this is the 91 millimeter scale in titanium. This is, I think, the dot three, which is uh, with this shield and it's also got uh, milling in it. I guess this would be fluted or slotted. I'm not sure what they call it. Um, but there are different versions of these scales from Daily Customs, ones that you can retain your scale tools with. This isn't one of those, and I, I realized that after the fact. This was a gift. I'm not going to complain about this any day, but I will, I think, eventually build the perfect Swiss Army knife for me, uh, and it may require drilling and pinning or screwing to swap out tools like this one with that uh, screwdriver instead of the corkscrew would be cool. But uh, it also, as I said, has these holes. These are set up for Benchmade clips. Uh, I don't have any deep carry Benchmade clips that aren't already on a knife. So I'm gonna put this one on here. And when I get home, I think I'm gonna flame it so that it's, uh, cause it's a steel clip. Uh, I think it may be titanium. Either way, it's gonna take on some color if you flame it. And uh, we'll see how that looks. I may end up buying a, a clip specifically for this Daily Customs. I don't know if they still do, but they used to have this milled clip that looked really cool and matched. Uh, if this is steel, I can do some sort of acid etch on it, which would be cool. I don't know what kind of steel it would be. Uh, I think that looks okay, but it's not the best clip <laughs> in the world, obviously. But this overall looks going to be really cool. And in this inlay, this Timascus inlay, it's got a slot that is for a tritium tube. So I am going to have to get some clear epoxy in a tritium tube and set that thing in there. That will be really cool and set this thing over the top. So getting a, a specific clip made for this or something that looks a little better than the stock bench made clip and a tritium tube. And this thing is very close to the perfect Swiss army knife. Uh, but I do think the perfect one is a combination of a few different tools. Just wanted to show you guys how to install these scales. It's very simple. This is a 15 minute job, honestly. Pop the scales, clean it off, rough it up if you want, clean it again, epoxy, clamp, wait for six minutes or so, and you're basically good to go. So there you have it. This is now a custom titanium compact which is badass. So that's it for now, guys. If you wanna check this out, I will link uh, down below the Daily Customs website. They also have knives like this right here. This is the AK-1. 
So you can go to their website and buy scales for your Swiss Army knife. You can buy the AK-1. You can buy scales for it, um, beads to match, all sorts of stuff. It's all available over at Daily Customs. It will be linked down below. Oh, and this. And if you didn't want to put the clip, I almost forgot. If you didn't want to put the clip on here, this will work for different Swiss Army knives or also uh, slip joints. So you can put your Swiss Army knife inside the sheath. If you don't want a pocket clip, you can keep it slim as is and throw it in the pocket or you can throw it in a sheath. So that is also an option. So once again, if you are interested in this, you can go to Daily Customs website and get scales and other accessories for your Swiss Army knives. You can get an AK-1 or scales for the one if you already have one and clip sheaths for both of those. It's all over at Daily Customs. It's all gonna be linked down below. That's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it informational and helpful. And maybe you can come back to it if you ever decide to customize your own Swiss Army knife. But uh, I will see you guys later in the next video. And until then, carry on.